Hello iTechnology reviewers! So this is a special review for the Asus Rampage 5 Extreme, the top quality product from Asus. It's a special motherboard for gamers or for those who want uh, more than just an overclock, for those who want a optimum overclocking. And here in the box we'll have an OC panel and a USB 3.1 card. So inside we have some gadgets, this OC panel, if you see here, this OC panel, it's a, a intuitive overclocking command center and from here you can set the speed of the fans, you can read the temperature, it's a very fine piece of uh, machinery, I have to say. So this mainboard uses DDR4 performance and the socket 2011 and V3. So it's a uh, dead socket for extreme E7 uh, processors, you can use i5 uh, processors but only in this socket. Let's make an unboxing and we'll talk about later for these specifications because we have a lot of talking for this. This is the OC panel. Now let's open the box on the top side and remove the mainboard and we have believe me guys this is the most important motherboard there is on the market in our days it's a fine piece of machinery so we will talk and i will show you this is the direct cu uh, unit here we have the processor with uh, the socket here's a plastic a plastic cover protection uh, for um, you will use it when you, you will remove it after you will put the processor inside um, after you will mount the asus uh, member um, i want to show you uh, an important detail asus upgraded these holes and made other contact points for um, a perfect contact with the screw and uh, your case so we will gently remove this motherboard because i want to show you the connectors so this is the motherboard it's a little bit heavy um, let's talk about the ddr4 so here you have you can put eight eight memories of ddr4 in this slots it releases just in one side okay here you have the switch the OC zone, you have the reset button and the start button for this, you have a safe boot button, the retry button, the memory UOK, this uh, button here, uh, you have the slow mode, the Q code, um, it has a lot, a lot of buttons. So let's rewind a little bit for this uh, slots, the DDR4, you can overclock it to 3300 megahertz so it's pretty awesome you you realize we uh, we take and we will build the computer and i will show you we'll take the ddr4 from uh, kingston we can put four graphic cards of uh, nvidia or 80 radeon in sli mode so it's pretty awesome if you are gamer you will use definitely use sli uh, mode I'm very curious to mount and connect to this case because it's pretty awesome. Uh, Asus says and guarantees for this car that we will, it will give a great, a great big performance, my blowing performance. So here we have 12 ports in S8, uh, 6 gigabytes per second for shared by uh, SATA Express. So we have two s eta or sata i prefer to to say sata to sata express this main board comes with a special chip a audio chip uh, which is uh, the supreme fx i don't know if you can see it here the supreme fx processor for uh, supreme fx shielding you have a l n a premium audio cap so it's a premium audio device i will uh, we will test this in uh, our building of the computer we will make another another tutorial and uh, we'll put a link at this end of this review 
and you have Sonic Soundstage, the Sonic Sense amp, you have some application. And uh, ASOS tell us that these connectors are golded, golded uh, plated. Uh, so it's pretty awesome to have uh, extreme sound for this mainboard. So you know guys, most of the mainboards um, came with um, standard Realtek, so it's a piece of garbage sound card. It sounds good, it's a high definition like Realtek says, or other brands, not uh, necessarily Realtek, there are, are uh, a lot of brands. So uh, let's move on with the, with the main board. Here in the back we have the connectors, we have uh, the um, LAN and this I'm gonna tell you a tip or, or an important information if you want, this uh, LAN connector has a protection from lightning for other power problems or static energy involving uh, and burning your LAN. So this has uh, a protection. The most important thing on this mainboard, ASUS did a heating pipe transferring control and evacuating uh, on this side the heat because it's very important these uh, radiators to evacuate efficiently the the heat from this mainboard. So it's a new and uh, efficient uh, design and uh, you got to admit this mainboard looks looks very very awesome. So now I want to show you some images that the SATA or S8 to express is uh, 1.x uh, faster than the SATA 3. So uh, you have some configurations, you have some uh, comparison here and the wireless, the dual band wireless, it's more efficient than the normal wireless that was before. So ASUS integrated some nice quality electronics in the, this mainboard. It has four lane processor, it has a lot of processor and a lot of sensor, thermal sensor. So if you see guys, at the socket of the CPU is designed with more more pins, the reference design, the normal design and the Rampage 5 uh, design. So it has a lot of pins uh, compared to the standard mainboard because it support, if you see here, 1.8, 24 uh, volts. ASUS will tell us that we will not lose a voltage drop with uh, this Rampage 5 Extreme. Okay, let's move on. You can overclock your memory. If you have a standard uh, 3000 MHz, you can push it to the 3000 with uh, overclocking. And you can look at these values increasing with overclocking. So you can boost your RAM. So here is some, here we got some benchmarks. ASUS uh, put some tests. Okay, let's move on. So this is the OC panel I was talking about. This is the CPU temperatures, the rotation um, per minute of the fans, the normal extreme mode switch. So this uh, mode I think is very efficient because when you are working uh, in graphics, for example, you can switch it to extreme mode and uh, when you are using in normal condition, your uh, cooling is more efficient. But if you want cooling, you will see here the fan control, the speed uh, control of the fan. So it's pretty awesome. Uh, here you have some panels and you can connect in on these connectors your uh, Sub-Zero Sense, including the Sub-Zero Sense, the VGI SMB, the VGI Hotwire Slow Mode and Pose. So you have some uh, connectors here. If you don't know what Verime means from ASUS, we seen the Verime ASUS uh, very much on the ASUS mainboards. So is that controlling voltage regulator module. So the voltage regulator, it's a custom designed PMP controller. It controls by this uh, CPU units on the main board and this microfine allow cones. And you will see it's metallic, all it's metallic for better uh, cooling. So this means a higher efficiency, a low power loss, uh, it's a cooling and longer lifespan. Here guys, I show you that pipe for transferring the heat on, uh, on the mainboard and the connectors uh, in the back for heating evacuation. And if you see ASUS made some kind of uh, heating without fans because you'll see these uh, radiators are seated exactly at the 
uh, ending or the external part of the case so the uh, heating is more evacuated more efficiently we have some spare parts you can put x so socket 2 and uh, the lga 2011 with v3 and you can use both sockets we have some adapters and uh, you have to remove in the back and you you got to put your adapter as uh, your need and i told you before guys we have some sensor we have fan connectors and some sensor all over the main board we have five sensor one two three four five we have six sorry six main board uh, ter thermal sensors and a lot a lot of fan controllers so asus give us fan expert free so this uh, cools down and monitors your thermal sensors it has thermal cables i will show you the accessories immediately when we are done with uh, this presentation we have an intel ethernet that is very very good from difference it uses a lower band of your cpu instead of the traditional of the default uh, ethernet so if we are talking about the lan you have to mention for gamers the game first free so this is no delay game playing this is net a network optimization software that um, allows you with uh, game uh, first this game first free technology to use the whole capability of your band in the back you will have uh, 10 usb 3.0 and 2 usb 2.0 uh, a lot of equipment uses in our days 3.0 usb and if you know asus it comes with ae suite free now it's more improved than other uh, softwares and uh, if uh, a ae suite 2 it crashed sometimes in the fan and you will have problems in this it must be optimized for performance so next we will see what accessories we have this is for um, this front panel for best results you can put it on your desk and use the whole controls because you, if you will put it in your disc bracket you don't have uh, easy access to these buttons because these buttons you will increase your fans or uh, you will increase the overclocking capabilities and you will use a lot of these commands and you have in the back a support for this overclocking so it's a pretty futuristic gadget inside this is the main board of usb 3.1 two ports we have some silly eye republic of gamers you'll see some nice logos for this um, we have um, amd crossfire x technology next we'll have some freeway freeway SLI from Asus which is pretty cool and this is the Asus dual band Wi-Fi antenna with gold plated connectors these are uh, those thermal sensors that I was talking about and this connector I think is for USB 3 0.0 if you have front usb ports you can use this cable to connect from the motherboards to the ports directly and this is the 2011 bracket for uh, your processor socket and we have an nvidia sli socket for nvidia graphics cards some screws i don't know what piece this is a plastic piece we have a nice banner card the choice of champions in game of you might enter sticker and ss give us some stickers keyboard stickers the hard drive labels the rog rog cable labels so we have a lot of uh, stickers let's move on the papers we have some papers the warranty and the main board with the disk drives and the nice a nice logo with a republic of gamers if you want to stick it to your case furthermore we have two sata cables in four packs we have 16 sata cables and the aluminium configuration stand for your port in the back of the case the connectors 
for uh, your case buttons reset power on uh, the leds of uh, your case so guys thanks for watching i appreciate if you will leave us comments for those of you who have this mainboard and tell us what's the performance with this mainboard if you are satisfied with this mainboard if it's this extreme like it's uh, asus tell us if you had problems any problems with this because we want to make a computer for us for editing and we will use this extremely components extremely high quality components and mainboard so guys thanks for watching subscribe to our channels uh, for more tutorials and review thumbs up if you liked this review and thank you for supporting us guys have a great day bye